Like, I don't know if somebody already figured this out, but I know this was a discussion on uh, one of my topics I did a video on while I was testing 2.0 beta. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this software on. We were having, some people were having a problem with the, they tapping in the beat and it's actually starting a bar later than they're tapping it in. So you got a count off coming in, one, two, three, four, with a tambourine or whatever sound you're using on the metronome. But as you tap in the beat in, it's coming in a bar late. So I figured out what was going on with that, also with the latency. And um, I mean, this thing was kind of like, boom, when it was released, it was like, whoa, in your face. So I'm trying to figure out how to do it on the touch and on the rim. So it was a lot happening at one time. So. This was a minor oversight that just kind of slipped by me. But this is what I did. When I start this on Windows, it was using Windows Audio by default. So I got out of that and used ASIO. And it was coming up with ASIO for all as default. So I switched that to MPC Renaissance. HD Audio comes up. You got input out one and two. Input one and two, three, four, all of that. You see all of that. It's going down to 256 samples, which is pretty low shit. If it doesn't give you any kind of feedback or clicks and pops and stuff, it should give you no latency with a low sample rate like that. Test it. It works. Click OK. Now, let me load up a project I started a little while ago. Uh, I think I called it Rentest 2.0. Let's pull up Run Test 2.0. All right, and I was starting to do something before I did this video, so I'm gonna go past that. I'm going to Sequence 2 with my jog wheel on the Run. Actually, Sequence 3. Let's go Sequence 3, and I'm gonna change the timing. Slow it down a little bit, a little bit. All right, and you can see on the program I got MPC Trap Kit 3 loaded up from over there. And the sounds on my pads. No latency. No latency. All right, and I also got the swing turned on. Um, you got your Q links that are touch sensitive on the rim, so you can see touch that one. And I can turn up the swing, and that works in real time. So let's go ahead and tap in a beat. I'm on sequence three, track one, MPC track kit three. So let's tap in a beat. I got my count in. So let's add some real time swing. You can see that the, the samples moved a little bit to give it a little more swing. All right, so let's turn that off. All right, so we got no time in this shoot. Everything tapped in right on time. No latency on the pads. So that was great that's what i'm wanting that's what i'm looking for we got rid of that junk all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and put in uh let's add some more stuff let's do that i'm gonna just go track the track the track and just throw in whatever uh actually i'm gonna play it now i'm gonna go to track let's go down to track get that light out of there for y'all let's go to track two Just hit record while that's playing. I'm gonna turn that off. Keep running it. Let's go to track three. I don't even know what I'm gonna tap. I'm gonna just put something in. So I just put that in. Let's go to track four. We got four tracks. Let's go to track five. I don't even know what I'm putting in. I'm going to just keep hitting record. No repeat. Got a 
little no EP action in there. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff going on there. Now I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna hit audio. Boom. First audio track. Empty, laid out. See that auto save? I love that because sometimes I forget to save as I go. NPC automatically auto saves. And that's not new in 2.0, 1.0. I was already doing that, but I love it. All right, so I got first audio track up. And let's go ahead and select our input. Mono, I'm going to go with input one because that's what my XLR mic is hooked in, input one. I'm going to arm that track. You can see my meter start jumping immediately. All right, that's good. So let me turn down my speakers and put this on input and put my headphones on. I'm going to put something over top of this for y'all, baby. Let's do it. All right, I'm going to go over here to my mic. I got to take a couple steps over here. Let's hit record. Yeah, one, two, one, two on the mic. One, two, one, two, and a place to be on the mic. Testing the 2.0 for my viewing fans, yeah. All right, so let's turn that baby up. Yeah, one, two, one, two, on the mic. One, two, one, two, and a place to be on the mic. Testing the 2.0 for my viewing fans, yeah. All right, we got one track in. We rolling. Let's go ahead and put another one on here. Boom, boom, boom. Do, do, do. I'm going to hit this plus button right here. I'm just going to go ahead and throw another one on, on top of that. Let me turn my speakers back down, put my headphones on. And put, all right, let's do it. Uh-huh, yeah, 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 uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's all I'm going to put on that one, y'all. All right, so we going back and go back to track one. I'm going to go to my track list. That's all my tracks right there. Oops, let's turn that one off. You know what? I messed up. I was still on... Uh-huh. I was still on track one. See, y'all saw me mess up. But I'm going to leave that on the video. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, so let's do this. All right, so let's do this. That was on track two. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See uh -huh. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's audio one. So let's go to audio two. I'm gonna set audio two up, and I'm going with the same input of mono input one. Sorry about my finger being in there. All right. So I should have levels. You see the levels jumping? Boom. Let's turn my speakers down. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. I messed it up, but I ain't gonna front. Kept it on the track so y'all can see that I even mess up when I'm on my back. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that was. That rhyme made no sense. And I'm a rapper. That ain't make no sense. All right, let's see what it sound like. Uh huh. Let's yeah. try it again. Yeah, yeah. I messed it uh -huh. up. Yeah. Like it's that you point up. Up. Uh -huh. Let's try it. So I got two yeah. audio tracks going. Yeah. Let's see my drums down here like on that you point the up. NPC uh -huh. track kick yeah. program. Uh -huh. Let's yeah. try it. Got yeah. audio yeah. track yeah. one, audio yeah. track two. Yeah. No problems with that. All right, I'm gonna stop there. I don't want this video to be too long. Um, that was quick, kind of run through. And I just wanted to show y'all a couple things how to fix the latency. Make sure the timing is good because you're using the right um, audio setup and how you can kind of fly through your sessions with no problems at a pretty low sample um, buffer size. All right. So that's all I got right now. I hope that was useful to somebody. Peace.